uh, the whole team is not together. But uh, that's not stopping us from trying to get better. Um, right now, we're focusing on our team weaknesses, um, trying to improve on the things that uh, you know we probably haven't done so so well in the first half of the season. But at the same time, we're also trying to improve our individual skills too. So uh, it's a very important time for us individually to get better. And then at the same time, being focused to work on the weaknesses we have as a team. And now the, uh, the team was in a very good situation. Mm -hmm. uh, have won uh, seven of the last eight games. Mm -hmm. This break, it's good, it's bad, because maybe the dynamic it's yeah. gets stopped. Yeah, I think in, in basketball, uh, if you play this game long enough, you have experience and you know that this can, like you said, either be a good time for us to rest and recover or a bad time where we can get out of rhythm and lose chemistry. Um, but I think we have good guys. We have great coaches. Um, we know the risk. And that's why every day, even though the whole team is not here, we're approaching every day to try to get better um, each and every day. And I think if we stay on that path, uh, we can get use this time um, to our benefit. And the last question, uh, now the team is going to face the the final stage of both ACB and Basketball Champions League. Mm -hmm. How did the team face that, uh, the ambitions, the goals? I mean, we feel we feel very good. I mean, even in the beginning of the season, when we were enduring a, a tough part of the season, we always had confidence in ourselves as individual players and as a team. Uh, we know we're very talented. And now we're starting to, like you said, we won seven out of our last eight games. We know we can win. Um, so we're feeling very good. We're feeling very confident. Um, But we also know to accomplish all the goals that we have to win BCL, to qualify for playoffs, you know, et cetera. Uh, we have to come in every day and work hard. And we have the talent for it, we have the guys for it, and we have the coaches for it. So um, everybody has a good attitude and uh, we're, we're expecting to do, to, to do uh, big things and to play like Zaragoza for the second half of the season. Okay, and the last one, yeah. and this one. Uh, <laughs> How do you manage uh, this season? Maybe it's a bit different from others. So you're playing both mm. as point guard, shooting guard. <laughs> Now with the injuries, Rodrigo coming back. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah it's, it's, it's been a very interesting year um, to start off with COVID. Um, you know, the natural rhythm of athletes was disrupted. And I think that in itself led to a lot of injuries, including myself. Uh, I was out for about two months. Um, and, you know, with the dynamic of the team, injuries, new players coming, new players leaving. Uh, it's been difficult, but like I said, it, we're, we're all professionals and we're here to do a job. So for me personally, um, it's been difficult with the injury and playing, mastering two positions, um, doing what the team needs. Um, but like I said, it's, it's a part of my job and I'm willing to do it for the greater uh, good of the team. And hopefully it, it'll produce more wins. So uh, we just got to not worry about all the negative. Um, in life right now, everybody's going through something negative. So. Uh, If if we can, you know, just bypass that and work hard and try to win, maybe we can give people happiness in Zaragoza that way by winning some games. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it.